The Jazz Mini is a beautiful and compact aluminum stand for your smartphone that even holds tablets up to 8 inches. Click now to learn more. What could possibly justify the existence of a Bluetooth speaker this expensive? Can't figure it out? Curious? Well, given the small percentage of these things that I agree to review, apparently I was curious too because I decided to do it. Here's my review of the Fugu Sport, a $200 Bluetooth speaker. Okay, Fugu, you got my attention. Now it better be amazing. In the box, you'll find a nice flat micro USB cable, a flat 3.5mm audio connector in case you want to hook your audio source up directly to the 3.5mm input on the side of the speaker, a 2.1 amp wall wart that Fugu says can charge the unit in under 4 hours, and a little cloth baggie for all those accessories that I just mentioned. Oh right, and I guess there's a speaker too. This bad boy's got 4 active drivers, 2 neodymium magnet tweeters, 2 neodymium magnet aluminum dome mid-range drivers, with one pair on each side, and then two passive radiators for bass, which means you can position it somewhere in the middle of a group of people and everyone can hear it all right. And it promises an impressive 40 hour battery life at 50% volume, which is leagues ahead of most of the stuff this size. It's got the usual assortment of buttons, so power on and Bluetooth on one side, volume up, volume down, and a call button on the top, and finally USB power in and that 3.5mm jack that I mentioned on the other side. The bottom can connect to a few optional accessories, including a multi mount for things like carabiners, a strap mount, or even a bike mount, and other than that, the outside looks like any other Bluetooth speaker. Internally, this speakers are angled upward 8 degrees, since a Bluetooth speaker is rarely at the same level as your head when you're listening to it. I mean, well, it could be, well, that rarely happens, hopefully. It supports the higher quality Aptex codec for better sound quality overall over Bluetooth, and like most of these devices, it includes an omnidirectional microphone for speakerphone operation and Siri and, you know, Google Now and all that stuff. Once powered on, you are greeted with, uh, Speaker is on. Some unreasonably loud system noises that, like so many Bluetooth speakers, and this is really annoying, can't be turned down, but at least the pairing process itself is pretty painless. Music listening, actually fairly good overall, but when I compared to straight up audio quality against Simple Audio's Go, a product that costs half as much, I came away happy that the bass was so much fuller and the speaker didn't jump around every time a bass note played, but maybe a little bit disappointed by the lack of clarity in the highs. Compared to the similarly priced Ultimate Ears UE Boom, I was happy with the sound quality at moderate volumes, but I was disappointed by the overall loudness given the 95 decibel rating and claims that the Fugu is suitable for party use. That is simply not the case unless your parties look a little something like this. With that said, it's totally loud enough for personal use, and if you wanted to, you'd have no trouble being one of those super cool dudes poles who wears a speaker like a fashion accessory while they walk down the street. So there you go. But claims of audiophile grade sound or fantastic out of this world battery life or whatever nonsense every Bluetooth speaker company and their dog makes all day would not have gotten my attention. The Fugu has something different. Swappable jackets. No, I'm just kidding, that wasn't it. There, there, there's more, I mean, it has swappable jackets, but more importantly, all of them are IP67 waterproof, dirt-proof, and dust-proof. You can get the speaker with the style jacket, which looks nice, I guess, the sport jacket, the one we have with rubberized corners for drop resistance, or the tough jacket with an aluminum frame just in case you accidentally run over it with your car. But manufacturer claims are not enough for us here, and we wanted to know just how well the speaker will hold up to torture. If it's rated to handle 30 minutes under a meter of water, which it is, then surely it can handle hanging out with me for one of my nice long showers. No? Alright. Well, how about just water then? Sweet. Aggressive water. Still okay. I'm tired and I'm just kind of letting it sit there. That's fine too. Very nice. Conclusion time. It's, again, I cannot emphasize this enough. $200, and there are louder options out there for 360 degree listening with a group of friends. Okay, so with that out of the way, does this product have a right to exist then? I think so, yeah. With a battery that lasts for about a day and a half of solid listening at a reasonable volume, and an enclosure that I subjectively find stylish and objectively find rugged, then if you're the kind of person who is a bit of a scatterbrain like me and is likely to forget to charge your speaker, knock it in the water, and then finally drop it six feet to the ground onto concrete or onto dirt, then expect it to still work? 
then I guess this one's for you. And also, you should really be more careful with your stuff. This thing's expensive. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, click that like button and share it. If you didn't, then click that dislike button and let us know what you'd like to see us improve for next time. If you do enjoy our work, check out the support link in our video description. There's lots of options like buying cool t-shirts like this one, um, contributing on our forum, or just changing your Amazon link to one with our affiliate code so we get a kickback whenever you buy random junk. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips from Unboxings reviews and other computer videos.